welcome uh, David, isn't it? Uh, David from Orion. That's right. Um, now then, um, we were just talking before the camera went on about Orion, and uh, I, I didn't realise how big you were, but um, and you've obviously grown over the years. So just in a very small nutshell, can you just encapsulate exactly what Orion is? Yeah, for sure. So I think um, some of our key tenets are really patient centricity of software platforms, trying to connect the health system together and enable kind of cross-care setting workflows. Um, so one great deal that we've worked on, our relationship and partnership is with Canterbury DHB here in New Zealand. And we've developed a set of um, regional health platforms that provide clinical information to clinicians wherever they are in the health system. So if you're in a GP practice or in a hospital, you have access to the same rich clinical information. Um, and as you said, we're quite large now. We've got 1,250 uh, members of our team, a lot of them here in New Zealand, maybe 700 staff here in New Zealand, which is, um, which is immense. Well, congratulations. That, Thank that, you. that is fantastic. Now, we were talking um, with other people who are sitting where you're sitting on, on a problem with health delivery in New Zealand is how fragmented it is. And we um, are enjoying watching a defragmentation process, and certainly uh, information technology is, is leading the way on that. Yeah. So how is Orion contributing towards that defragmentation integration? Well, it's hard because Good actually answer. the 20 DHBs in New Zealand all have similar agendas, but they have different ways of interpreting that, interpreting that agenda and how they execute their plans. Um, but in the end, uh, what we've ended up doing a lot of is regional alignment activities. So here in the South Island, we're working on Health Connect South and Health One, which is a clinical platform for the region. So it's sewing up all the clinical information and presenting it to um, the right person at the right time with that patient. And we're also working on aligning workflow around patient administration here in the South Island. So we've got five DHBs collaborating together to create the workflow of the future for the patient journey through the system, from their home into the system and back out into the community. Um, in the northern region, it's been more clinically focused, or Rhapsody is our integration platform which connects data across the system. So our business actually is all about sewing the health system together. That's fantastic. And we heard Graham Osborne yesterday talk about this one-note system, and uh, I need to say you're, that, that, that's the direction you're traveling in as well. Yeah, I mean, the, Graham's answer was interesting. Uh, I mean, there seem to be three or four tenets to it to me. The first uh, probably is around clinicals and getting a, you know, some clinical alignment nationally. Um, the second really about meds and trying to consolidate and curate um, lists of medications for, for patients that are good sources of truth because meds is a major um, safety and expense area within health. Um, the other area was patient portals um, and how we, act, how we bring value to the patient and, and give them access to their, uh, to their records. So those were really three major themes I saw with a single electronic health record where mm. problems and allergies live. Um, and maybe meds live in that space as well. So yeah, no, it seems a, a very exciting strategy and, and hopefully Orion will play a, a, a key role in that. It sounds like it is doing. So three years from now, where will Orion be? Well, um, I'm hoping that we're, um, a, a concept called precise healthcare is one that we're sort of targeting. So. Wherever you are in the health system, you have access to the right information. Now, that might be genomic information, maybe. And that in three years probably isn't that far away. It might be clinical information or history of the patient. It might be device information that's coming off an iPhone or an Android device. It may be, you know, other. Um, IBM yesterday were talking about exogenous data, that all that data that lives around the health system. So trying to bring that together in a workflow supporting way that can enable clinicians to make the right decisions about patients, thinking about wellness. So I think Orion really wants to be in the middle of that, um, trying to support those really good decisions at the point of care. These are awesome ideals. So through your eyes, what are the barriers to getting to where we need to get to? Uh, well, there are probably a few. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> um, I think the technology is a little bit of a barrier. Right. So where does the data live? How do we access it? How do we allow secure access to it? So mm -hmm. security um, and access rights are one. So that's got to be, that, that's got to be solved. Um, an environment where data can be kind of accessed and used and mapped well. You know, one of the challenges in healthcare is that data is dirty. Um, sorry, that's a term for the data. You don't know what it is exactly or how accurate it is or how up to date it is. So trying to process the data um, to a point that you can make it useful. Um, I think the health system itself is probably a barrier because there's a lot of silos and organizations all, they talk about collaborating but actually don't. 
You mean so, the patch protection? Yeah, that's sort of right. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of kind of territorialism, maybe might be the word mm -hmm. I'd use, yeah. um, but well-meaning territorialism. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, you know, in the end, the consumer. Um, this is a very, very dynamic environment right now, and there's so much change. Um, and you know, I think maybe uh, patient empowerment or consumerization of health is going to be a dynamic that the health service just can't resist. So we're going to have to work very quickly to support the consumer needs, um, whether they're ill, well, or you know, wherever they live in the system. So those are those are some of the things I think we've got to. Mm. Good on you. Well, look, congratulations on getting this far anyway. Cool. And uh, three years from now, we'll sit next to each other and we'll see how much ground you've been managed to cover. <laughs> Thank you. That'd be great. God bless you. Nice to see you. Cheers. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.